Hey everybody, Adam with Fanic here. Uh, gonna do a quick one today, a nice little pro tip uh, for some of you guys out there. Uh, I want to talk today about background edits, um, also known as online edits. Um, a lot of my PLC users are familiar with this, um, making changes to your program while the program is actually running and you're executing, you're in a production environment, and you don't want to take the robot down um, to make your edits. Okay, so a lot of people are used to running the robots and they say, oh, I'd like to make a change. So you rightfully so stop the program, go into teach mode, get out your teach pendant, turn it on, take control, make your changes, turn it off, go back in. Uh, there's actually a nice little way where I will qualify this by saying if you're making minor changes, let's, let's not bet the farm on this thing, but if you need to make a minor change while you're running and you don't want to stop production, uh, how you can actually do that. So let me first show you the, the foundation of what I've built. Got a nice little LR mate here. Um, I've got a main program that's sitting in a nice little infinite loop. I'm just going to run between this label and jump label. Um, I'm going to call my program. This is going to be important later. We'll talk about it. Now I've got a little two second delay. So I'm going to run a program, wait two seconds, run a program, wait two seconds. Let's go look at what that program looks like so you can see what I'm doing. It's real simple. Uh, my four favorite lines of code in the whole world, uh, followed by I start at a home position. Um, I go above a pick position, continuous. I go down to a pick. Then I have a wait statement that is indirectly addressed using register 12, which is a dwell of 0 0.1 uh, seconds. Go back up. And then the same code, I'm going to go to a place position and then use the same dwell and back up, go back home, repeat. Okay, so very simple. Uh, the reason I wanted to show you this first is I am a huge fan of modular code. I love using indirect addressing for things like, look at this, my, my run speed. All right, you can change the speed of the robot using a register that maybe comes from an HMI or PLC um, without having to stop the program, go in, make the robot faster or slower, um, and it allows you to keep people's mitts off of the uh, teach pendant when you don't want it. So stuff like that. So let's go ahead and, and, and crank this system up and we'll do some background edit fun. Let's have some fun, guys. All right. Robot is running. There's my pick. There's my place. Goes home. Let's watch this execute a second. Pick. Place. Home. And you can see over here, while we're monitoring the code, it's just running through. You can see the code executing. You can see it go to the main program, back into the fun program. I told you that was going to be important. Here's where we go. Let's say I'm, I'm running along and I want to change my dwell time. Well, this is easy because I have modular code. So I could make this dwell be a one-second dwell just by tapping that. And look at the robot will dwell one second at my pick and place. You see how physically it's slower. One second, one second. Um, I can change that to zero, you know, lovely. So now there's no dwell. See that? Click, click, and it's gone. All right, your, your customer comes to you, your boss comes to you and says, I want a different dwell at the pick than what I want at the place, but I don't want to stop production. I just want to change that to that. What do you do? Well, first you look at my YouTube channel and you like it and you subscribe it. And then you come in and here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to select as if we want to pick a program. Notice I'm still running production. And up at the top, there's this program name called back edit. It's not really a program, but here it is. Click it. And you'll see that the teach pendant asks you, says select a program for the background edit. All right, well, I want to go down to the program I'm currently running, which is fun one. So I'm going to click enter. Gives me a little love note. It says, when you finish editing, do not forget to declare and edit in your edit command. Okay, that's your F5 key. Okay, that's just a love note. Just saying, okay, thank you. As soon as I hit okay, you're going to see something going on in here. At the top of the screen, you see that we're in the background. It's telling me this, okay? I can scroll through. 
while it's running, it's also showing me the updates. You can see the at symbols. It's letting me know where the robot is, letting me know what's going on. My status bar, your best friend up top, status bar shows that we are running, what line we're running, what's going on. Let's go and make the customer happy. While we're online, I'm going to add a register. You can easily do this while you're online. I'm going to call it Dwell2. Pick a name. Pick your favorite name. And instead of uh, a tenth of a second, I want that one to be one second. Okay, so we want it notably longer for whatever reason. Maybe it takes longer to set it down than pick it up. You, know, you got to establish vacuum or wait for a gripper or something. I'm going to scroll down to where my wait statement was, and I'm just going to change that from the R12 to an R13. See, so this is the edit that I would have made had I gone offline. So now we got to do what the robot told us to do. We have to go to Edit Command, and then down here, the seventh menu item is End Edit. Now when I click this, it's going to ask me one more time, do you want the modifications which have been edited in the background to be implemented? When I click yes, it is important that I click yes while this robot is not actively running that piece of the program. So the robot's still running production, but I'm going to click it when it is at the uh, home position main loop. So here we go. Robot's home. I click yes. Now... Those edits have already happened. You see the robot already behaving. At the pick, it's a short delay, and at the place, it's a long delay. We can uh, exaggerate that. Quick pick, long place. So now we've made that online edit while the robot was running. So let me go ahead and stop this, and we can actually go back and uh, review the work we've done, right? If we go into our fun one. Let me turn on my teach pendant, scroll on down. So you can see the pick logic is using R12's dwell and the place logic is using R13's. So we were able to do that um, without stopping the robot. And like I said, the kicker is uh, the robot has to jump out of that program and back in, which it should already be doing. Uh, an experienced programmer will tell you you should have a main program calling all your other subroutines. Just make sure you apply your edits while you're in another subroutine. Um, you might be asking yourself, Adam, will the world implode if, if I try to do the edit while it's in there? Nope, it'll just yell at you. Um, let's go ahead and test it. Um, what's the point of RoboGuide if you can't try and break things? So here's the robot running. It's in its program. Let's go through our exercise again. We're going to go select, back edit, uh, I want to edit fun one. All right. Yup. Thank you for the love note. So let's go in here and let's just make another edit. Let's turn this one to a 13 as well. If I say uh, edit command and I go down to my end edit and I try to do it right now while it's running, it just yells at me. You could not implement the modifications because the program was executing or pausing. Well, we know that the program was literally executing. So all I have to do is just try again, edit command, and edit, yes. There it goes. Uh, you just have to do it while it's not currently running the thing you're trying to change. So um, still, a lot better than taking down your entire production line and uh, stopping, starting over. So that's your pro tip for the day, guys. Make your customers happy. Um, obviously, uh, get creative with what you can do in the background edit. Um, don't go too hog wild. Um, I wouldn't recommend changing your positions too crazy or changing logic too crazy, things that could harm yourself or harm others. But things like turning IOs on and off or um, you know, maybe, maybe you mapped a, a digital input or digital output wrong and you want to change that or your PLC guy says, hey, I need a different handshaking bit or whatever. Those are harmless. Go ahead and do them in the background without taking your production down. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, guys, have fun coding.